For months, it's been a stalemate between North Korea and the rest of the world. Despite posturing from all sides, no one seems to actually want to start a war. Now, officials are gathering and planning what to do after the latest development in Kim Jong-un's rogue regime. Was it a breakthrough or just another wall? That's what officials from Japan, South Korea, China and the U.S. are trying to figure out. Yesterday, North Korea said it would agree to reopen talks, but only if certain conditions were met. They included removing U.N. sanctions and putting an end to joint U.S.-South Korean military drills. South Korean officials have called the conditions illogical and absurd. The U.S. also insisted that North Korea must give up on its nuclear development before starting negotiations for a long-term solution. North Korea has flatly rejected that proposal. So now what's next? South Korean and Japanese officials meet today in Seoul to discuss just that. Japan, China and the United States have a stake in the peace and stability of the region. At the same time, they have an important role in enabling peace and stability. I said to Unification Minister Ryu that we would like to cooperate within this framework. And while China continues to call for a solution through reopening talks, Japan is preparing for any eventuality. The Patriot Advanced Capability 3, or PAC-3, missile interceptor system has been deployed as a defensive measure should North Korea make good on its threats. China's foreign ministry also announced today that China's special envoy on North Korea, Wu Dawei, will meet with American officials in Washington next week.